Hey Libra, thank you so much for joining me. Happy June, how you been? Really? All right. <laughs> Spirit is already throwing cards out. So, all right, we're just gonna dive right into it. Happy to see you though, Libra. All right, June 2018, what's going on? Libra, what does Libra need to know for their highest good? Libra sun, Libra moon, first card, Libra, what? Okay, Libra, 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 Libra sun, Libra moon, Libra rising. What's the story, spirit? What's the story in June? What does Libra need to know for their highest good? Wow, all major arcana so far. Big month, hmm, mm hmm, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, Libra, Libra. Libra sun, Libra moon, and Libra rising in the month of June. In the month of June, spirit, wow, throwing cards, positively. Okay, and I do mean positively. Mm -hmm -hmm. Okay, Libra, Libra. Hmm. Okay, Libra, <laughs> a couple more. Got a good story. Got a good story going here. Some very interesting characters. Libra. Libra Sun. Libra Moon. Libra Rising. One more card, please, for the month of June. For Libra. What does Libra need to know? What's the button on the reading? Okay. All right. Hmm. I'm just going to take this in for a sec, Libra. It's pretty good stuff. Like I said, pretty, ooh, pretty big month for you. And it's, I feel like, uh-oh, Libra, you're being presented with a choice in June, is what Spirit is telling me. And I feel like for, for many of you, the choice is around relationships and love. Like, it feels to me like there's sort of a budding relationship and then boom here comes somebody out of the past being like so what's up with you like um and honestly it looks exciting it looks there's definite fun and passion and like arrivals and breakthroughs happening this month. You have a couple of different characters around you. And for some of you, this is how I want to describe the like the difference between maybe, okay, and remember, Libra, these are general readings, so because it's not one-on-one, -on -one, Spirit is giving me a few messages, but there is always the same way that if you read a Libra horoscope, there's always going to be sort of an overarching um, web of energy. So it might be that for some of you, you're caught between two really good, like, job opportunities. Uh, for some of you, though, it really is like, ooh, is it this person or is it this person? And Spirit is showing me somebody who's kind of impetuous and passionate and like, you know what I mean? And like this Knight of Wands person. And then they're showing me this King of Cups who is much more stable and reserved. And they sort of have like a depth and a silent, like a quiet sort of wisdom, whereas this Knight of Wands person is very like bombastic and they will say exactly what they're thinking and feeling, um, but they may not have the best follow through or be the most dependable. And it's really funny, but like, I'm just gonna say that this is what Spirit is saying because <laughs> Look, it used to be burning bushes and things like that to catch our attention, but nowadays, because so much of what we do is like listen to music or watch YouTube or watch movies and read books and things like that, Spirit will use whatever sort of like pop culture or media, whatever kind of references they can to get through to us. And Spirit is basically like giving me like the cover of Bridget Jones's diary. It's like, do you want Hugh Grant? 
<laughs> or do you want Colin Firth? Do you want Mr. Darcy or Mr. whatever the fuck his name was, the playboy? I forget. I forget. Daniel? Cleaver. Cleaver. Daniel Cleaver. Do you want Daniel Cleaver or do you want Mr. Darcy? This seems to be the question for some of you, and of course you can flip that to make that Mrs. Darcy. Um, you got a lot of power. A lot of power to get what you want. And it's sort of funny that it's like, yeah, a lot of power to get what you want, and making decisions is one of your least favorite things. Sun and Libra right here, I relate. Okay, all right, let me just pan down and show you what you're working with, right, Libra? You can make some of your own intuitive judgments. Do, 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 do. This is your life. <laughs> Very pretty, right? Nice and colorful, not a lot to worry about here. Um, you, you do have a couple of cards of stress. You have the Eight of Swords and you have the Seven of Wands. Really, other than that, like, this all looks pretty fantastic. Okay. We kick off the month with three major arcana, and then everything else is minor arcana. So it's kind of like, here's the theme, and here are some sort of like the everyday things that are going to play out as a result. So what's the theme? Spirit is saying the balance of power is shifting. Justice, the emperor, the magician. You are shifting things, Libra. It feels like many of you are taking this month and come into this month really with like a new aim. Like I really want to get my life in order. I really want to create this. And if I want to create this, then I have to have more discipline. I have to have more power. I have to have more wealth. Like I need to be my own boss. I need to build my empire. The emperor. And the emperor is Aries. Um, astrologically speaking, that's the association of the card. And Aries is the opposite of Libra. Libra is the sign of the other. Aries is the sign of the self. And then you have the magician. Number one, the self. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then you have justice. Like, balance. What is true? What is real? The truth is that you're powerful and that you can have more power if you uh, will be disciplined and orderly and take control. But you might be afraid to do that. You might feel insecure. You might feel unworthy, Libra. What is this for you? The Eight of Swords is about holding ourselves back. We can put, and this is what Spirit is saying for you, okay? We can put all kinds of gates in front of ourselves. Well, I can't do that until I get this equipment. And I'll just give you an example. You know what? I'll give you an example because this is what they're giving me, okay? In my own life, I will tell you that I was thinking about like doing this on YouTube for literal years before I actually committed and started doing it. I, like I said, sun in Libra. So as a Libra, I was like, okay, yeah, I, I really think I want to do it and dealing with, you know, the fear and blah, blah, blah. But also in a very unconscious way, I was letting my fear run the show for a while. Like, well, no, like I, I really can't do it till I have like a decent, you know, camera or no, I really, really can't do it until I really have a different kind of space or well, really, I shouldn't do it until I've figured out what the best way to have a YouTube channel is or the best schedule is blah, 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 blah. And literally did this to myself for years. And that is what Spirit is talking about when they're saying we put gates in front of ourselves. So what is it that you're like, I want to make this. I want to have this. I want to create, build this. And what are you saying is making it impossible about yourself or your means? The beauty of this card, Libra, is that it says that your insecurities really are just your insecurities. That is not a judgment. Whenever spirit speaks, it is from love. In fact, they want it to be liberating when they say that you are the only one holding yourself back. This looks very grim on first glance, but this girl is actually just kneeling in the mud with like pulling on her hair and a, wearing a blindfold. She can stand up whenever she wants and take it off and you know, try to walk somewhere else and change her life up. But right now it's more scary to look at what's going on around her than 
it is to just sit in the dark and tug on her hair and worry about what might happen. If you take off the blindfold, if you, i.e., look at what's really going on around you and really take control and take authority and responsibility and say, this is what I want. I've made a decision and it is to create this. What's on the other side of that is wealth. This is great news for your money. Your finances could be improving tremendously. The emperor also like loves control and discipline and it would really benefit you this month, Libra, to save your money. That's what they're saying is like, you can create a lot of wealth, but you want to make sure that you hold on to it. You can be a little bit like, oh, in one hand, out the other. You know what I mean? Like, cool, I got my paycheck. Oh, I went to Sephora. <laughs> and I feel like this month, it benefits you to save. It benefits you to build yourself a strong foundation because it feels like there are opportunities, and this is just what Spirit is saying, okay, they're coming out of nowhere with this. It feels like there are opportunities for travel and just all kinds of sort of invitations coming up for you. And you're going to want to have like a little, you know, nest egg, a little foundation set up nicely for yourself so that when you want to go, you can just go because it's coming fast. Really nice opportunities. Whew. It is, um, I want to say Libra, this is all very good, but I want to remind you in the midst of that, like it is, there is like a fight. There is like um, the work, you know what I mean? The fighting for what you want, the fighting for what you believe in that you have to do, the defending of your ideas, for, like and Spirit just said, to yourself and to others. So, you know, you're known for your indecision. So you're going to come up against even your own doubts and your own questions about whether you're doing things right or whether you're on the right path. And Spirit wants you to remember that questioning doesn't mean that you're on the wrong path. You know, questioning and worrying and, and coming up against new challenges is actually a sign that you're on the right path. So, take them on. You can more than handle it. There is a lot of opportunity coming in in June, so I feel like you're really, really... I feel like part of the reason they're telling you please be orderly and disciplined is because there's a lot that's going to drop onto your plate. And it's really cool stuff, good stuff, nice invitations, nice like opportunities, even little, you know, dates and lovely things. And you want to be ready. You want to be ready to take on what you want and to go for it. Maybe you're even traveling to meet some of these people or they're traveling to meet you because I do feel like reunions for you this month getting together with people who you really love and who really love you. And speaking of love, Libra, I just want to mention one more time that there is something really sweet happening here. There's a really lovely beginning and it has a lot of potential. You know, the Hugh Grant, Colin Firth thing notwithstanding, it looks like you're heading in a happy direction. It's funny, yeah, because Spirit is saying, yes, there's more than one sort of invitation coming in. Personal, professional, creative, like you've kind of got it all coming toward you. And it looks really freaking fruitful and like exciting and like fast, fast, and the magician, the emperor, like, I love this spread, Libra. Take control of your creative gifts this month and you can synthesize the money and the opportunities and even the relationships that you want. Poof, I'm just going to say it. These are some good ass cards. Okay, now Libra, let's move right into your fiercely focused spread, which if you haven't been here before, this is just a quick five card reading we do to cap off your reading. Um, we get a theme for your month, whatever spirit most wants you to be aware of or embody, um, the archetype you're working with the most strongly in June, and then we pick four other cards um, for the action steps that you want to take 
when it comes to money, love, like the mental realm, the creative realm, all of the things, earth, air, water, fire, you know. And actually, Libra, I'm gonna pick you back up for this because I wanna look at you. Bye. Pardon my face. <laughs> okay. All right, Libra, so what's the theme for you for June 2018? Libra, June 2018. What do they need to know, Spirit? What's on the docket for this emperor in June? What does Libra need to know? These magicians and emperors, what do they need to know? All right, one fell, face down, still don't know what it is. We're gonna find out together. What are you? Oh, yay! Oh my God, okay, awesome. I was like, what, am I blind? Strength, this is, look at that infinity symbol. Let us not forget that in the classic Rider Waite Smith deck, the magician also has the lemniscate, the the infinity symbol hovering over his head. So this is just some next level shit. I like it. Okay, so you are really you're finding out a new dimension of yourself, is what Spirit just said. In the month of June you figure out some new powers. The strength card is about facing our inner beast. There's a reason that to depict the phrase or the word strength, we're using like this soft, gentle woman, like petting this ferocious, ostensibly, this lion. And yet, this lion is like so happy, like eyes rolling back in its head, its paws are digging pleasurably into the ground, like, yes. And they are working in perfect unity and harmony together. And you're the sign of harmony, right, Libra? You know that Eight of Swords of your insecurity and spirit saying, like, at least you know that what is holding you back is only you, that nothing else can stop you. The strength card is a really wonderful omen for saying that if you will, Libra, this month, really look at and deal with what makes you insecure, what are your fears and concerns and, and insecurities and flaws and all that stuff, can you look at that stuff not with disgust or with resentment, but with love and forgiveness and compassion. Because that will transform those, those wounds and those flaws into some of your greatest powers. Really, I'm not like giving you a snow job here. I'm not just trying to like be Pollyanna optimism. Strength says to me, Libra, you know, and this is so sweet. This is what Spirit is reminding me of. Um, I, I don't see this anymore, but I love this description, this analogy for Libra. In old school books, you know, they would call Libra the iron fist in a velvet glove. And I love that. It's perfect. Like, Libra, you're a cardinal sign. You're a leader. You're actually like the sign for the military. And a lot of people wouldn't guess that because you're also the sign of peace but you are the sign of military strategy. You are, you know, the generals of the Zodiac. Be the iron fist in a velvet glove for yourself too. Treat yourself with the same gentility that you give to other people when they show you their tender parts. You know, you would never think of shaming them or blaming them. So don't do that to yourself. And see how powerful you become when you embrace and work with your inner beast. Mm-hmm. All right. And Spirit just already threw out the card we we're pulling for your Earth stuff. So this is the card they want you to embody or the step that they want you to take when it comes to money, business, jobs, resources, and it is gorgeous. You had the Ten of Pentacles, the Wealth card, now you have the King of Pentacles. So there's a couple things about this, Libra, is, is when we uh, encounter a court card, 
in the tarot and in life it is because yes this is a real person but they are there to also evoke their same qualities in ourselves so when for example we meet the king of pentacles in a reading and in life yes we're going to run into this could be a man or a woman i do feel more of a masculine energy in this case um but when you run into a person who is very steady and solid and they really have their financial stuff together for sure this might mean that they're actually like wealthy or this might just mean like they are very good with their money like the bills are paid the savings are there the house is taken care of or whatever it's like this person is really solid and reliable very like Taurus sort of energy they could be Capricorn or Virgo um, this is someone who is also here to evoke some of that steadiness and earthiness that you might lack. You know what I mean? Like, okay, you might be up here in your head and this person can help you kind of like ground your intentions and even just help you with things as mundane as like handling your money. You know, whether they're helping you directly or whether they're just sort of a presence in your life that you look at and go like, wow, they really know what they're doing. Um, so who is the King of Pentacles for you? Who is coming around in June? Helping you work on your kingdom, helping you find your emperor powers. <laughs> Embrace it. Embrace it. There is real wealth possible here. Okay, now let's look at the mental realm. What's going on in your head? What are you hearing? This is your realm, Libra, the realm of the swords. What sort of words, conflicts, debates? Wow, okay. So, Libra. They did say that you might be making a decision between a couple of people or a couple of things and you do not like to disappoint. Um, the Three of Swords is not a fun card, but it's also not actually the card of heartbreak. It is a card of separation. It's a card of mental, like, severing. And you might... In getting to know yourself and in really accessing your powers and your wounds, you might find yourself separating from some things and some people that aren't good for you. And that can hurt. That can hurt even when we know it's the right thing to do or the only thing to do. So I want to give you um, encouragement and support. This isn't something that you need to do. This isn't something that you should be afraid of or anticipate as something that is set in stone. Libra, your free will is everything. Spirit, when you get a reading, it's like looking at a really good weather forecast of like, okay, well, it was, you know, there was this, this temperature yesterday and the day before that, and judging by yesterday and the day before that and today and the way the winds are looking, it should be about this temperature tomorrow. And it's pretty reliable. Tarot is the same way. Here are your past and present decisions. Here's how they appear to be manifesting in the future. And the beauty of getting a reading is do I like where this is going and do I keep doing what I'm doing or do I not like where this is going and I'm going to pivot now and see if I can change some things up. You know what I mean? Like, and that's what they're saying. So for some of you, if you've been dallying or flirting with this Knight of Wands person, but you really have your eye on the, the, the King of Cups or vice versa, maybe you need to go ahead and before somebody gets hurt. Know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm just gonna leave it there. We're gonna see uh, how the emotional, like your heart cards play into this. Um, what's going on in the realm of relationships for you, Libra? Spirit might wanna highlight romance. They might wanna highlight friends. What's going on with Libra in the emotional realm, the realm of the heart in June, Libra? June. Ha. Huh. Okay. Yep. That lines up completely with what they were just saying with the Three of Swords is like, yes, there is some walking away being done. There is a relationship or situation in your life in June that it benefits you to just be like, okay, this may be used to nourish me, but it doesn't anymore. What I put into this, a lot of love and time and energy was not returned to me and it grew stagnant. And I'm going to go seek something that is more and better. And, you know, you're leaving behind a very finite amount of satisfaction or love in exchange for 
the source. Like, everything possible, okay? So, when I see that Three of Swords and then I see this, I think of asking you how separation and severing some certain bonds this month will actually benefit you. And it doesn't, it, it, like I said, as much as it might hurt, this doesn't feel like heartbreak. This feels like, wow, it really like sucks to cut this person or this old friend or this ex or this family member out of my life, but it's what I have to do to take care of myself. That's how it feels. So for those of you who have to do that, again, I'm sending you a lot of love and a lot of support. I know it's, it's not easy. Um, it takes inner strength. Trust yourself, Libra. That's what they're telling me now. It's like, please trust yourself. Look at these things unflinchingly. Look at them, see them for what they are, and then handle your business when you're ready. There's no rush. Nobody's telling you that you have to fight, walk away, break up, none of that. You can do anything that you want to. Spirit is just saying get clear on what is feeding you, nourishing you emotionally, and what is not so that you can move anything that's not just kind of out of your way to make room for the stuff that really will take care of you, okay? Because judging by your first reading, you've got a lot of wonderful things coming to you and you want to make a little room in your life for them, okay? Okay. I mean, gosh, they talked about a new love that's brewing. You definitely want room for that. Okay, now finally, Libra, let's look at what's lighting you up, what's firing you up, charging you up, getting you excited. What is stoking your fire and your passion in the month of June, Libra, 2018? Beautiful. You have the, uh, the King of Pentacles and now the Queen of Wands. So the Queen of Wands is somebody around you that is very charismatic, very creative, warm, great sense of humor, um, and again, if you meet this person, it is also because you have these qualities within yourself, and Spirit is talking about bringing them out in the month of June. So, King of Pentacles taking care of business, Queen of Wands is like, I'll take care of the marketing. <laughs> like, everybody's gonna want this, everybody's gonna want a piece, like, and you know, you are a natural charmer, Libra, so this makes total sense to me, like, the Queen of Wands is a natural. Like, people just gravitate toward her because she is warm. And... Take your creativity up. Don't be afraid to lead the Magician, the Emperor, the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands. Like, you have something fucking amazing. Okay? And yes, you do have to move some things out of your way. But I gotta say, Libra, I am completely confident that they will repl be replaced by far more and far better. Like, far more befitting of your current evolution. Okay. Thank you so much for being here, Libra. I really hope this helps. If you have questions or if you have stories you want to share, please let me know in the comments. Or you can follow me on social media. All that stuff is below, or you can always get a personal reading, or even join my little my little magic school if you are so inclined. All of that info is linked below. But I really appreciate you being here. I really hope this helps you have a more magical month, and I hope I see you around the channel for some practical magic tips and stuff like that. And if I don't see you before then, then I hope to see you in July. <laughs> Bye, Libra.